She was a little apprehensive when I said I wanted to record this because it was her very first time. But I told her, don't worry, because you people out there on our channel would love to see what I'm just about to show you. So, hope you do enjoy this because this is our little Valentine's video. Boo yeah! Woo! Left for dead, baby! Woohoo! Yes! Uh, for all you dirty minds out there might have thought it was something different. Um, this is myself and my wife's very first time playing on the Xbox or PlayStation. She has played the Wii before, but this is her very first time playing on it. And um, the reason I put rated M for Mature, you can see there, I didn't lie, it says 18 down in the corner. And also, uh, suitable for only for persons of 18 years and older, contains innuendos and trickery by Mike One. So haha, not to be supplied to any person below that age. So as you see, I did not lie. You cannot give out to me. I did not lie. Um, I said at the start in the and in the description that that's what this is. So, you know, you can't give out to me. But anyway, this was yeah. This was her first time ever playing. So she's on the right and I am on the left, as you can see there from the thing. So uh, the 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 start she, she she couldn't get used to the controls at all. So bear with us for the first bit. But she does do a nice few kills and that and shoots some nice walls and door frames and stuff like that <laughs> but I also wanted to put this video up because as you can as you know today is the 14th of February which is Valentine's Day and you know a lot of videos that you see up actually this video was supposed to go up on, a, on another community channel it was and I had a, the thumbnail from the start already done for that channel so I don't know how it's going to work out on this video. Hopefully, I can use the picture at the start as a thumbnail. If so, brilliant. It's after working out pretty well. If not, well, we'll just keep going anyway with the video. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, it was supposed to go up in the community channel. And a lot of the people on the community talk about their drunken nights out. Well, I don't drink at all. I've never drank. When I went out, I went out to really to try to ride women back in the day. Uh, not now. <laughs> not since I was married. <laughs> back in the day, that's that's you know what I I didn't go out to get drunk and then forget to ride a woman, you know. So th that's what it was all about. And I just you know I thought well maybe you know people can tell their little lovey dovey stories, not about their riding stories. That's not what this video is about. But to talk about you know things that happen with girls in their life. Like I remember when I was on our Debs when I brought a girl to the Debs that I fancied. Everything was kind of going all right things might have happened, you know, you know, it was going well, it was, she was a little drunk, she was, went on the bus anyway, up to go bowling or go into town afterwards, she woke up and she puked all over me, Scoldy Balls would remember that, because uh, I, <laughs> on the way home I had to put the, the tux jacket into the boot of the taxi underneath the spare wheel, it was that, it was that bad, so, you know, just, just little stories, if you have any stories about, you know, love interests or anything like that from school or anything like that that's what this video is all about i also said again it's because it's valentine's day i might tell you about um how i proposed to kamiki we're gonna call her kamiki in this so kamiki's on the right mike one's on 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 the left and um so yeah it was 2007 and she had after getting me a trip for christmas to go, or she told me in advance she was getting me a, a trip for Christmas to go to Las Vegas for a couple of days in January of 2008. So we had already planned to go to New York in April of 2008. So, you know, she probably would have thought that was the time I was going to propose to her. So I had to be sneaky, I had to be thrifty, I had to think about everything thrifty. I'm talking about thrifty. I had to, uh, think about what I was going to do, so I decided that Las Vegas was the place I was going to do it in, to, to completely, you know, surprise her and that, but I wanted to get a special ring uh, from a place that I knew she liked, so I had to ring up Tiffany's, if you know what Tiffany's is, Tiffany's Jewelers, in New York City, and I had to do a correspondence with uh, a girl there, which actually has the same name as my, as my wife, but, um, which was, you know, I don't know, a sign, I don't know, <laughs> to get a ring 
sort out a ring and get it flown from New York over to Las Vegas. So there was a lot of tension over the Christmas time there was because I wasn't sure if it was going to be there for when we went to Vegas. Long story short, it was there. Um, a day before we arrived in Vegas. It arrived in the in the Bellagio, the Tiffany's in the Bellagio, a day before um, we arrived. So it was, you know, I was absolutely delighted it was because uh, finally I knew, you know, I could, I could rest a little bit until the time came to actually ask her. So the next thing was, well, how do I get to the shop or to the store to collect the ring without her actually being there with me? So I had to make up some excuse that I had to go somewhere. She bought it anyway. Um, she had no clue whatsoever what I was doing. Because again, as I said, we were going to New York for a week. A couple of uh, weeks later. I, you know, she told me later that's where she thought I was going to do it. But, you know, I didn't want to be too um, obvious about it. So, um, so Las Vegas thought was seemed to be the better, obviously the better time to do it. Um, because uh, we had always talked about people proposing up the Eiffel Tower and all this type of stuff and you know if you go to Paris you know it's another thing you kind of expect it going to happen so what happened was uh, long long story short <laughs> long story short instead of ranting on about this you probably don't really care about it but I'm telling you is it so you'll have to stay stick by and listen to it <coughs> maybe so got the ring anyway great everything was brilliant and uh, just you know yeah decided you know Let's go up to the top of the Eiffel Tower in the Paris Hotel in Las Vegas. It was kind of a bit on the kind of cheesy side, but you know, going to Paris is a bit cheesy in itself. So I was, I was, you know, doing doing a boat way as I was. So I went to go up the Eiffel Tower, and it said it was closed for a couple of hours. And I was like, no, 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 it's getting late. I want it to be nice out and everything. Anyway, we got up up to the top of the Eiffel Tower. I proposed. She said yes, and. The rest is history, I suppose. <laughs> so that's my little story about uh, our proposal. It was, it was, it was nice. It was one, you know, it was a happy time. It was to to organise it because I really enjoyed organising it at the time because she had absolutely no idea what was going on. Um, I didn't have to bring a ring with me or anything like that. It was, you know, I didn't have to hide it in the bag or have anyone, you know, find it. You know, she didn't have her find it on me. So. It was it it worked out really well, and then we went to uh, we actually went to then New York a couple of weeks later and bought our wedding rings. But that was our my little story about that. Um, and if you guys like most of you guys aren't going to be married, you probably aren't even going to be engaged. Right? And I don't even know if you have girlfriends or not. But maybe you just have some funny stories about girls, um, you know, from school or anything like that. That you know you can share on this video because that's just it's just a once-off video for the day that it is. Um, talk about this lovey dovey crap <laughs> and um, well hopefully I tried to get more gameplay with uh, Kamiki in as I said it was the first time she, she never had any interest in doing it before and I said listen let's just do it for a Valentine's treat to me and she said yeah no pro no problem we'll do it she loves like films with zombies and, and crap like that in it so I thought Left 4 Dead was the best choice to do it in and I don't think she did too bad at all trying to move around um, if you've been looking at the gameplay, she uh, she was finding it hard to move the sticks around the place. But she got, she held her own. And as you'll see from the end here, she um, she got a few nice kills. She did better in health than me. Uh, she got more headshots than me, and I actually got no headshots. Uh, you'll see in a second. But you know, it was still it was still a, a good ten minutes of gameplay. Um, so yeah, that's my Valentine's video up. Hope you all have a good Valentine's Day, whatever you are going to be doing. Um, I'm sure Scaldi will tell me later what he's going to be doing <coughs> in private. So guys, yeah, thanks for watching it, and this is Mike1, out. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.